Prior to the Obaseki administration, Edo State was caught in the web of illegal migration and human trafficking with over 30,000 young people en route to Europe trapped in Libya. It was to reverse this narrative that the governor in 2017, through concerted effort of key development partners, launched a fight against the scourge. Here are the 2022 summit with the theme, The Role of Returnees in Migration Management and Development. The governor appreciates their progress in various skills development, pledging more support. He pledges his administration's commitment to improving the economic well-being of Edo people to discourage migration. So you are devoting your time, your resources and your energy to volunteer to stop people who otherwise belong but also to support those who need care and rehabilitation. Because you are strong now, you can help lift up those who are weaker. As a government, we want to continue to work and reduce the incidence of irregular migration and human trafficking. We will step up our activities as a government in this next phase, which we call the MMPE 2.0, that is managing Chairman Edo State Task Force on Human Trafficking and Illegal Migration, Professor Yinka Omarogbe, risks out the achievements of the state government. What I see in this next step for them is for them to be seen as partners, which they've told the IOM. Partnership is what they are looking for because they can help in so many ways. If we could really utilize them the way we should, we'd get so many of the traffickers here. They are partners in many ways. They are very, very useful. Governor Obaseki also met with the representatives of the World Bank and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation with officials of the State Education Ministry giving progress report on the Edo Best Reform. We compared our children in 2021 with their performances in 2019. What we found was that after the catch-up plan, we found that in actual fact, pupils actually improved during the time between 2019 and 2020, during and after the COVID period. We had primary one pupils, and it will show in the graph, primary one pupils in 2021, reading at nearly the same levels as primary two pupils in 2019. We saw that this same evaluation found that an average adult best primary two, three pupil had foundational numeracy skills at nearly the same level as an average non adult best primary five pupil for the same period. Leader of the team and World Bank Global Education Director, Yami Saldivandra, commended the achievements so far but calls for a close supervision of private schools to ensure equal standards with schools under the adult best. So I will see two margins of actions in which, in which one will need to work. One, I think, is just the improvement that you are already implementing in the quality of public schools. I mean, that will draw people from the private to the public sector. And that's a good, that's good, right? That, that's a good um, uh, development, right? And that's something that we have seen a few countries in which their private, that their public sector improved. Then. For Governor Obaseki, sustaining the Edo Best reform through the junior secondary school level was key. Henry Swanlele, ABS News.